Artificial intelligence or AI, it's a term that we actually hear a lot today, particularly in reference to new things that are emerging and coming through like autonomous vehicles. But what is it? What's it all about? And why have Microsoft, Google, and even Obama been in the news about AI recently? Well, let's jump in. From Auckland, New Zealand, and in partnership with Gorilla Technology, your three minutes with host Paul Spain starts now. Business and technology commentator. Technology expert Paul Spain. So it's just been in the news that there's fake footage of Obama. Yeah, this was generated using artificial intelligence technology that took his real voice, took some footage of him, and then adjusted that footage to say what was said in the recording. Symbolizes some progress, at least in, within the small confines of the legal community. But this could have just as easily been uh, somebody faking his voice and then putting his lips and motions and movements to those words. So artificial intelligence is very powerful. Microsoft have just announced that their Microsoft Research Division are putting one-tenth of their staff to focus on artificial intelligence. This is a massive area for the future. And we look at who the companies are that are really heavily investing in this. It's Facebook, it's Google, it's IBM, it's Microsoft. Really the big technology players are investing heavily in this. What's exciting though, is that their investments don't lock everyday individuals and businesses out because most of them are making those advances available so anybody can draw on the technologies. So we have some exciting things ahead. What sort of things can you expect? Well, autonomous cars already mentioned. They're very much reliant on this artificial intelligence technology. We are already starting to see now personalized tutors. So these are tutors that would, would be smarter than an individual person to gauge where you are and how you're progressing with your learning. That's coming, coming through right now uh, from a company here in New Zealand where I'm based. So really there is a, a huge amount of development. We see of course things like facial recognition. Uh, right now when you utilize something like Siri on your smartphone or the competitive uh, products uh, from Google, Microsoft, Amazon, well these are using artificial intelligence in the background to figure out what you are saying and to understand that even if there's other noise, if you've got an unusual accent, all of that is being dealt with by artificial intelligence. And the reason this is moving forward so quickly right now is because of the massive increase in computing power. If we look back just a few years, we had a, a, an absolute fraction of the amount of processing power that we have today, and that continues to grow at a, at a somewhat exponential rate. So we can expect to see artificial intelligence just become a normal, everyday thing over the next few years ahead. And some of those things, well, we're already used to living with right now. So what's next? What do you need to be prepared for? Well, my suggestion is keep a look out on what's happening in artificial intelligence. If you're an individual, then play around with those things like the little uh, assistant that's in your smartphone. Get a feel for how artificial intelligence can work to help you. I personally uh, use that technology when I'm in my car and I'm driving so that I can be safe but still communicate with people, have messages read to me, and I transcribe messages back to them. And I've been using that technology for five years or so. So very helpful. Uh, in businesses, well, there's lots of opportunities and businesses should be looking to tap in to the power of the leaders in this space. Tap into what IBM, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, and so on are doing and, and be inspired by watching what the top players are doing, how people are innovating, and think about how could this apply to your organization. Hey, thanks for joining me. This has been Paul Spain. You can track me down for further updates, paulspain.com slash updates.